Hi, my name is Raymond Camden. I'm an Adobe Community Expert and a Cold Fusion Jedi Master. Uh, I'll be talking to you today about one of the new features in Cold Fusion 9, the CF Map Tag. Now, you can probably take a wild guess here. The CF Map Tag is going to work with maps, and actually does a really great job of making it easy to add maps to your websites. Let's uh, talk a bit about how you, you would get started working with it. Now, the very first thing that you will need before you do any map work is an API key from the Google Maps API sign-up form. Once you've gone there and gone through the process of signing up, which is really just entering your URL, you'll get a very, very long key. Once you have that key, you can then enter that into your CF admin or actually within your application.cfc settings. We're going to take the easy way out and just simply put that key within our CF admin. Now, I've, I've already gone through the process of signing up. I've gone to my CF admin and I have entered the key right there. Now once I have that, I can use that and, and again, if I want to, I can actually override that on a per application basis if I need to. So how easy is it to actually map data onto a website? In my first example, I have the CF map tag with a center address attribute and guess what? That's it. I'm done. Uh, the only kind of weird thing to kind of keep in mind is that every time you use CF map, we have to use an ending tag. I took the easy way out and simply put a closing slash there at the end to tell the CF map tag that I have nothing else going on there. Once I have my center address in there, I'm good to go. And if we load this up, we can see a lovely map of my hometown airport. Now everything is set by default. So the default map is there, the zoom level, etc. If I want to go in there and tweak it so actually can, you know, people can see the airport, I can come in here and just quickly type zoom level and I'll just throw out 13. Nice lucky number. Reload and now the map is a lot closer. One more example. If for some reason addresses are just too easy for you and you have a much easier time remembering longitude and latitude, you can actually supply that as well, which I've done here, 39.5 and 240. Now I'll show that, although I'm sure we all know where that is. I've also gone ahead and specified a different map type, hybrid, and we can see how that shows up. And there we go, somewhere near Reno, of course. Actually, I had no idea at all. Uh, most of my guesses ended up being in the middle of, of the ocean, so this one got pretty lucky. Now, once we've done that, we may actually want to change the UI a bit. Uh, we may want to get rid of some, some of the controls. We may not want to allow you to change the map type. Well, the CF map tag has a whole set of ways to say, show this control, hide this control, etc. And just to show some quick ex examples of that, I've turned off a few things. I've turned off the type control, the zoom control. I've turned off the overview. I've disabled the mouse scroll wheel. And what's also nice is that I've even added a tooltip so people can see exactly you know, what I'm trying to point out here. And there we go. And we'll see when I mouse over, the tooltip shows up. Again, very, very simple. So, so far though, everything has been kind of hard-coded. What about something that's more dynamic? In my next example, what I've done is simply looked at my CF Art Gallery sample DB to get a collection of orders. And what I've done is taken that query and actually stuffed it within my map as a map item. Now what's going to happen is that each of these map items will show up as new markers on my map. I've also taken my initial center address as St. Louis, Missouri. And I've done that so I can just center right in the middle of the country. I'm actually hiding that marker. But this will make all the order markers show up and stand out a bit more. And we'll take a look at that. And there they are. And for each one, we can actually mouse over and we can see its order and how much they spent. Over there in Spain, 312,000. Pretty good. So where things get really, really interesting. In that last example, the mouse over talked about the order and said the total. What if I had a lot of information that I wanted to kind of put within that mouse over? 
Oh, we can actually bind the map to Ajax-based event to get our data based on where you mouse over. So I could actually build a CFC to say, when I mouse over that particular map item, I want to do a lookup and get order information. What I've done in my new example is simply provided a binding for that map. This will apply specifically to the markers, and for each one, it'll pass all the data into my CFC. In this case, I'm actually passing the ID of the order as my map item. My CFC simply looks that up and then generates some nice text based on that item. And I have a few queries in there, but really the meat of this is actually me displaying the result of that order lookup. If we take a look at this version, we'll see a nice big map. And now every time I click on an item, I can see specific stuff about that particular order. And we'll try one more just to make sure it's working. And there we go. So again, very powerful stuff. There's also a JavaScript-based API. If you want to say, you know, when you're done loading the data, run so-and-so. If you want to handle errors, there's also really nice support for that as well. Uh, so again, this is uh, CF Map, one of the very cool new features in Cold Fusion 9. Uh, be sure to check out that and more at the Cold Fusion Developer Center. Thank you.